Good morning, Jamin. Have you slept? Well? Where have they gone? I was supposed to be the one to leave. Looks like I don't need to go through the trouble of snaking away. But then, why do I feel so... alone? Have I grown accustomed to their presence? I... I suppose... I will miss them, if I never see them again. They were so kind. I wouldn't have minded them staying. Their warm laughter and kindness and combat ability and warm touch. I, I mean staying, just as a close friend, of course. They're a traveling companion. What, what got into me? This is so very unlike me to daydream like this. What, what has gotten into me all of a sudden? What, what time is it? The watch. I shouldn't have taken this. I should not have taken this. But I had to. This watch. There's... There's something about it. But what? It feels like... It feels... It feels like I should know, but... I can't. There's nothing. There's nothing. I can't remember. Why? Why can't I remember? Why? Why can't I remember? <laughs> What's that? Is there someone there? No. I'm alone. I've always been alone. Ever since the fire. None of the other hunters ever cared. They'd never come looking for me. They'd just write my name on the killed in action list. Just another name. Another casualty. <laughs> Why are you here? Didn't... <laughs> didn't you... Oh. You were out to the bakery. You wanted... To get fresh bread. Thank you. Oh, it's still hot. No, no, I, I can hold it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Why am I crying? Um. Damn that, pretty. Concerned, kind face. I can't tell them. Not now. It's just that uh, I haven't eaten warm bread in what feels like an eternity. I was stalking you for weeks, you know. Waiting for my moment to strike. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess it didn't turn out like I thought it would. But I think this is a better outcome than the alternatives. Don't you? 
That's good. I was, um, actually worried that you'd left me behind. You wouldn't do that. You're just saying that. Everybody does. Sooner or later. Mother and father. Cloaks. Oh, no, you, you, you wouldn't know. It's the nickname I gave to the hunter who saved me. They always wore this dark blue cloak over their coat. So I just gave them the name. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No one's given me a hug for so long. I think I needed this. Someone told me. You know, when you hug me like this, it just makes me feel like my worries and anxieties melt away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know that we're on a revenge mission and all, but you've never told me why you're on it. So, why are you? What did the hunters ever do to you? I sense it's not just because you are what you are. You don't want to talk about it. I suppose that's fair, for now. But I've told you all about who I am. Isn't it fair you do the same for me? All right. If you say you'll tell me eventually, I'll wait. But I will keep you to that. I wouldn't want to be fighting with someone who has some silly motive for their vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. If you say it isn't, in that voice, I'll have to trust you. But you shouldn't have to carry the weight of your past alone. Um, I, I'll be there to help you. I'll listen, like you listen to me. Why I care? Well, I have to pay you back somehow. You've been such a good listener. Consoling me. Not to mention saving my life. I owe you a lot, you know. What is this strange sensation in my stomach? My heart is racing. What is this? Is being this close to them causing this? I actually kind of want to be clingy. No! I'm not going to be clingy. Even if I really want to be. Was, was I clinging before? I can't remember. Um... Can... can I hold onto your arm? I know it's quite the strange thing to ask, especially since we've only known each other for four days, but... Can I? Why do I want to hold onto it? I'm... I don't... I don't really know why. It's just that I want to, I guess. It just feels right. 
I can't explain it. You let me? You let me hold on to your arm like those sappy lovey-dovey couples do. I didn't think you'd say yes. But I've gotten this far, so I will take you up on that. This feels better than I ever imagined it would. Makes that strange feeling I have in my gut grow, but it does make my heart rate go down. It feels nice. Not just nice. Really nice. Ugh, I'm starting to sound like some maiden in a sappy romance novel. I never would have thought I would have come to this. Do I? No, that's wrong. It can't be. But their parents did. And now they are here. So why shouldn't it work? But it's unnatural. Humans shouldn't be with demons like that. There are natural predators. What if I wake up one day and they're trying to eat me? Would that never happen to their parents? Not that they've mentioned, anyway. My mother was a full demon. A powerful one at that, considering her offspring here, but... Um, did you say something? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about how I was going to take my revenge. Yes. How to take my revenge. We've arrived at the train station. So that is why you brought us here to this town. The train. Well, I suppose that is the fastest way to get to the capital. Um, why is everyone looking at us? Because we are dressed in hunter's attire. But why don't people like the hunters? In the capital, they even throw a parade every year to celebrate the hunters who have died in action. I had no idea that the other hunters were like that causing so much unnecessary destruction. So many deaths. Wait, are you saying that they burned down parts of this town at one point? And pinned it on you? They must be really good at covering things up. No one knows any of this in the capital. They are just as bad as the demons. Is this why you want to end the hunter's order? In part? You want to stop people from suffering the same fate you did at the hands of the hunters. I see. That is quite a noble goal. It makes me feel a bit bad about mine. I shouldn't feel bad, but my vengeance is selfish. I want to get back at them for using me by manipulating my hatred and anger. From a night I can barely remember, and a loss that feels both close and distant at the same time. You think it's all right? to be selfish. But, uh, yes, I, uh, I suppose I've tried to be a good hunter, always doing my best not to cause too much damage and keep people alive, even if I had to put my own life on the line. You think it's alright? Since I always think of everyone else's safety before my own. But, uh, I'm just following Cloak's example. 
The hunters always told me that it didn't matter what happened to people, just as long as the target was eliminated. But I just remembered Quilks' words. We exist to protect the people, not to kill demons. And I held on to them, some of the few things I had left of them. I wanted to make the people of the inn my old home. I wanted to make them proud of me. You think they're proud of me? You really do. You, you always really know what to say, don't you? Oh, you want me to let go of your arm? S sorry, I, I didn't squeeze it too tightly, did I? I'm really, really sorry if I did. I. Oh, you were just gonna go buy the tickets. All right, I'll see you soon then. I'll wait here. You're back. Did you get the tickets? When does the train leave the station? You got a last minute train. It's leaving in five minutes. We have to go. Now. <sighs> that was a close one. We almost missed it. Couldn't you have chosen a car closer to the Koask? Luckily, we don't have any luggage. Number 34 and 35. 34 and 35. Ah, here are our seats. Is it alright if I take the window seat? Thanks. It says here on the tickets that we will arrive at the capital at 5 o'clock. Oh, um, what time is it now? Um, it's a uh, quarter past one. Watch. Where did you get this watch? No, please, I have to know. Did you... Did you... Did you kill cloaks? Did you? What are you talking about? Show me what happened. Look into your eyes. How... How is that going to... Show me? Oh. Hello everyone, it's Gigi. Thank you so much for listening all the way through. You guys have really enjoyed this series so far, and it's been a lot of fun to make. Um, as of posting this to Patreon, I have just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, thank you so much. It's really nice to get all of this positive feedback, and I have met a lot of great people through this. So I'm excited to keep making more stories. As always, I would like to say thank you to my Patreon supporters. Biohazard Shade VA, Demetrius Stone, Eve of Spades, 
and Pony Sulfur, along with everybody else listed on the screen. If you would like early access to audios, as well as a special rank on my Discord server, you can find my Patreon link below. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.